Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I know we're a little bit late this morning. Apologies for that. This uh, Wednesday morning. Welcome to the uh, drawing uh, this cannon cut. I'm using the DX this morning. Just wait for a few people to join. Okay, say hi in the comments just so we know that you're there. Let us know that uh, we have some people watching. said hi yet. Come on, we need to see that you're here. <laughs> Any views? Do we know? Uh, Sarah Lou says good morning. Good morning, Sarah. Can't see how many people we have Scroll in the stream. up a little bit and look at the other one at the bottom. Uh, three people so three far. Three people. Ah, good morning, peeps. Again, apologies for the late start this morning. Some technical difficulties with the phone and other bits going on. Uh, so hopefully, it's all sorted down and everything's back and working. Just give us a thumbs up that the sound is okay as well, so we know that can be heard nice and clear. Hayley says, Good morning. Morning, Hayley. Morning, Karen. Karen? Sonnenberg. Ah, morning, Karen. So. Oh, and Helen likes our video. Helen, it's cool, Helen. Ah. <laughs> right, so what we're going to do this morning is I'm going to be going through a selection of pens, as you can see on my scanning cut here. I've picked out a few. Uh, it looks like my, you've raided W. H. Smith. Yeah, my vast collection of pens. <laughs> here, I've nicked a couple to try and have a play with, and what we're going to do with each one is create one of these. So these are like a little swatch book that Natalie's created on uh, canvas. Um, and it's got a little drawing, uh, a bit of text, and then a space for us to be able to write exactly what we're getting, what we've uh, used. So I'll go through, we have four different pen holders that we're going to use. Let's take the blade out of there because we don't need that today. So we have the original brother little pen holder. Don't push it on too. Mm, okay. um, of the original little pen holder, which uh, in, and they only fit these wonderful little pens. And there's only about six colours of these, and there's two for fabric. There's a um, erasable one, and is it a washable one? One that washes off. Mm -hmm. Yes, so the one that wash off the one that is heat erasable, isn't it? So it yeah. for heat. Um, so they come with the little pen holder. All we need to get into that one is lift it open. Take the lid off. Take the lid off. <laughs> drop the pen in, and that sits into our holder. Our and then, pen. if you want to, you can stick your lid back on top of the holder. Yes, it has a hole in the top, so you don't lose your lid. And in between uses, you can actually place the cap back on the other end as well, yes. so you don't have to unload your pen. It fits. But remember to take it off when you're trying to take it out because it won't pull back through the hole. So that's those ones. We then have. I'll take the washi tape off. We then have the Brother Universal Pen Holder. So this one comes as two pieces. And don't throw this bit away because it's the important bit. This is your guide. So as you can see at the bottom of this one, we've got 
Lots of pen marks. <laughs> paint. Yeah, paint and all sorts of other things. Um, which do just come off. Level. I just um, remember which pen you haven't got out yet. Okay. Yeah, I'll go. Yeah. Um, and what you do is you pop your pen holder into the guide. You have this bit at the top which twists. This is the awkward bit of the, uh, the holder. We take a pen that fits. So let's go for a doodler because we know they fit. Yeah. We slot it in the top of the pen until it sits on your guide at the bottom. And then you just lift and twist the grey bit at the top. And that's not very secure, so I wouldn't use that pin. Let me take it up. Let's find one that does. My bad. We change a pen, so this is a Sarasa clip. I know this we've used this many a time. Tighten it up. There you go, it's nice and secure. And that fits in just nicely and sits there. And that comes off your pen holder, and then that sits into your machine, and then you can draw with it. Now the other two we've had, you've probably heard us mention quite a lot in our streams. So I have a 3D Fun Prints um, Sharpie pen holder, which you saw me using yesterday. Um, this one's good for your Sharpies or anything that's roughly the same size as Sharpie, um, which will fit nicely into it. Um, and this one's nice and easy to load. You unscrew the top, put your pen in, screw it back on, and then you're ready to use your pen holder. Um, with the 3D Fun Prints ones, you will get an additional uh, OK to press on the screen. Um, just at the moment, we haven't quite worked out, or Carl hasn't worked out, how he gets the uh, scan and cut to recognise that it's got it in there. Um, so it's just a little bit of work on that, but it still works. All you just press OK and then start again, and it will carry on as normal as if it's fine as it is. And then we have what we say is probably the most versatile. Morning, Pete, don't worry, we're all running late too. <laughs> <laughs> we're running late this morning. And last but not least is our. Universal pen holder from 3D Fun Prints. Now this one fits a lot more pens than your brother one. And it has a scribble cap at the top, but this adjusts the little prongs inside. So these prongs pop out. Let's just pop something in to push the prongs out. There we go. So you've got these prongs that pop out, which are the bits that grip your pen. And then we'll go back to our doodle thing, because I know it fits into this. So you slide it down to the bottom, as you can see you've got a guide at the bottom, it sits nicely on the guide, do your pen up, lid up, and then remove your guide, and there you are ready to draw. And again it just slots in the same as your other ones, straight into your machine, and away it goes. So that's enough waffle for a little bit, because I've waffled a bit too long there. If any of you have any pens that you'd like us to try, that you don't think we're going to cover, there's quite a range here. Um, That's an understatement. Yeah, please really. uh, pop them in the comments, and Natalie is mine in the comments over on the side. Yeah, now that I'm back for getting another load of pens, I've yeah, just the given in another box to now. use. <laughs> so we'll turn our machine on to start with. He says. Did you find the um, alcohol one? No. Okay. But we're right. <laughs> if they're all universal, why the variety? <laughs> 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 yeah, as much as the um, Brother Universal pen holder claims to be universal, it doesn't go down as thin as the 3D Fun Prints one does. Plus, every pen should be set up differently, which is what Ian is going to be covering shortly. Mm, hopefully. Hopefully. Thank you. Okay, I don't know if that one will fit. We'll try that one too. Right, so, first of all, we're going to pick up our 
patting off our USB, which Natalie's kindly done for us. Oh, I've just noticed. I've got another pen. Another one. I've got another one here. I'm looking at the 3D from the design on the top there. So we'll start with that one in the top corner. And I'm going to do this onto some A4 card. So we can go OK. And deselect and draw. I'm going to stop there for a second while I load my mat and my card and then we'll pick a pen. Does anybody want to <coughs> pick the first pen that they would like to see? There's quite a collection there. Pass me the mats while I get out of here. Don't you look. If people could see the things I'm meant to do, honestly. Kathleen Dieter Jones and. That's taking a lot of long time to throw some. Is anybody choice of pen? No, no choices of pens yet. There you go, you can start off with that one. Here you from, Prince. <laughs> Taking a long time to process the uh, image. Hmm, same doesn't usually complain about it. Mm. We've not used this one to do it, have we? Nope, we used mine to do it. There's too much for you. because there was a random grey one floating around as you do might be in the tub down by the side of you though oh is that a scan and cut image uh no they um what i did was i took an svg file and that's the picture that you see at the top of the while i was doing that do you want to hold that up you got one. Is that one better? Probably. That one a bit clearer. Yeah. So there you go. So that's the image that we chose. So it's quite a detailed image. Um, and then some text. So it is one that uh, Natalie has picked and created. This is having a very, very slow go slow. Okay, pass this here and I'll see if I can. I don't want to take it out if it's processing still. Come on. I do a slightly different image. And I'll put it. Make sure there's no fill on it, please. Mm, that one doesn't have a fill on it, either. That is not what is holding it up. There you go. Thank you. Carry on talking. Oh well. I'm just going to. Uh, Like that. Mm -hmm. Let's go for that one. Okay, 
Sorry about that. It's going to be a day for technical issues, I can see. <laughs> You can either fill it in or you can choose to leave it empty. The choice is yours. Um, so let's get the smoke out of it. Is that being on me today? Just not playing yet. Okay, so that's ready for the image when that is. Uh, I'm getting that. Finish doing that quickly. Tap dance for me, tap dance. Tap dance. <laughs> you have any questions today? Yeah, we are having one of those mornings. Yeah. I'll try and be finished before Pete starts at half twelve. <laughs> Cheeky. Well, no, I mean, I'm trying to be finished before Pete starts at half twelve because, you know, obviously, don't want to overrun with Pete. <laughs> uh, huh. Cable? <laughs> <laughs> Help. Thank you. Yeah, we do need another one. There's loads of them waiting in a closed okay. door in Worcester. Okay. Ten. Ten. Yeah. So, if anybody wants to buy a USB extension cable eventually, <laughs> we will have ten. Yes, we have some waiting. So, the pen we're going to use first is a Durant line maker. 0.1 and it's a <laughs> well, <fine liner. laughs> Yeah, you're probably should have one of those days too, Pete. <laughs> what was that? Pete says if he starts on time, well. I've got three minutes to spare, so what's wrong with you? <laughs> <laughs> so, oh, this is a very, very fine tip. It's a 0.1. Nice fine point tip. And I'm going to use the 3D thumbprints pen holder first. I'm just going to pop that through. Oh dear. So that's in and ready. Mm. Like I said, we pop that. Do a very good job of padding there. <laughs> Come on, <you're> good. <laughs> Popping that into the pen holder and it's ready. Get my piece of paper ready. So again, we're just using some good old-fashioned card. There you go. How are we doing? Complete yeah, yeah, yeah. cable. Complete with cable, whatever. So yeah, we'll, I'll remember to give you the... We'll adhere our card. Well, I didn't know if you'd be able to stick it in quick and get it to work. But... Try that. Try that. Yeah. Then what have we called this one? Uh, I just saved it over the top. Okay. Let's see how it goes. <laughs> so, we're retrieving data. Off our USB stick. So is this supposed to be swatch main? Uh no. No, swatch for stream. Oh, is that what you're struggling? You're opening the wrong file. Wrong file, really. Swatch for stream. Stop! <laughs> now she tells me. No, yeah. So should there be any fill on this at all? Shouldn't be. We can always check. It said if fill was on, that would be. It says it's on actually, so we'll turn it off because we don't want that on. There you go, so that will reduce any time on that one. Now, this one should be able to just do a straight draw because it's uh, only a fine liner. Yeah? Mm -hmm. So we'll go OK, please select, it'll draw. Check your pressure so settings. Minus one for pressure on this one. Because it's a fibre nib, so you want to make sure that you don't put any pressure through it. Otherwise, yeah. you end up with a lovely flat. Speed of one, so it's nice and slow. And it's going to take seven minutes. So whilst that's drawing, if anybody wants to uh, request a pen, pen. <laughs> request a pen. Request a pen. Yeah, there is a collection. We have a Copic Chow. We have some. Um, You're being brave, liners. trying to do the Copics. Well, aren't you? I thought I'd try a Copic to see if I can get it into the holder because I don't know if it'll fit or not. I, I, I wouldn't like to say. No. So I'll just press the wrong button again because that's me being dense. So yeah. that's okay. And there we go, so that's off. So we have a Sharpie pen, we have some. Uh, well, 
do I have? You got paint pens. I got a zebra pen, which is a uh, brush tip. Yep. So if anybody tells you can't use a brush tip, they probably. Uh, that one is a fine brush tip. Very nice pen. Um, can I put a pole in a live stream? You can. If you go oh, to the top, yes, I've found it. Pole, I'll put some options up there. Yeah, put an option and then put a little poll up and oh. people can decide which pen they'd like us to do next. So, Shelby? I might use one of the little brother ones next just as a tide over while we're waiting for the poll. Yeah, might be a good idea that. Well, I'm thinking which one. Zebra, um... Hang on, I'm, I'm doing the ones that you use the most at the moment. is very quiet. If it yes. was a CM doing that, you'd hear it um, far more on stream. <laughs> Which is why I said to Ian to do this one on the DX. It's very peaceful. <laughs> if Jackie's watching, thank you very much, Jackie, because it's your DX that we're using today. <laughs> um, are you able to write with a calligraphy pen? Yes, you are. Even in the Brother Universal. Sorry to um, <laughs> contradict people. Um, usually we have a big pouch of Kuritaki pens which seems to have grown legs and walked along with the brayer and so um, on. Calligraphy pen, there's one in my black thing, isn't there? There's a chisel tip in there. Oh yes, I will go and, so I'll go and raid your pencils. Yeah, go and raid my pens, go on. <laughs> No. No, we'll find. Well, if we don't find them by the end of the stream, we'll. Um... I'm looking. I might have something. Should have. I have enough of them. Yeah, so we have quite a collection there. Right? But basically, as long as your chisel tip has a flat end and then it ends parallel to your paper. You can use it to do calligraphy in your scanning clock without getting the calligraphy kit. They're in that 
hand to case. We have more pencil cases than we know what to do with, don't we, if we're being honest. These pens to try and just want to put them. Yeah, wants to try, yeah. Oh. Random just my colour block. Well, if you could try. One minute left on the drawing. Uh, I'll look at the poll in a minute to see if we've had any votes. Oh, how many pencil cases do you reckon I can go through in one minute? That should have a... There's a different one for you to try. That should have a big percent. Isn't it? That's, I've already got that one, so that's a silver shelf I've already got. In the box. The big box. I'm trying to get it out of the pencil case. You can tell how often this is used, not. Thank you, Edding. You saved my bacon. Um, let's go for the bigger one of the two because it'd be easier for the two. There you go. So that's what I mean. Right, that's drawn. Fantastic job of drawing that. You can cut it out now. Because yeah. I'll put the cut line back in as well. Good. So I'll just take the pen out of the pen holder quick because we're going to be drying up. So expensive pens. Uh, I love my SDX but miss watching the drawing and cutting as the blade housing is so big. Yeah, it does make it a bit hard to see what it's actually... Uh, but that big to. blade housing is what keeps it quiet. So, I'd rather have it quiet. If you want, it could still be on half cut. So I'm just going to take this off half cut because that was yesterday's with the vinyl. So it's going to take one minute to cut that out. It's only going to be a square. We're on 50 50 as to what's next. Go on, what's next? Uh, it's either the Sharpie Fine Liner yeah. or the Ink Joy Liquid. The Ink Joy Liquid? Yeah, with a rounded top. Oh, the Bummy Light. Yeah. I've got one. It's okay. <laughs> yeah, I've picked one up. So take your pick. I know, it's got a couple of seconds to vote. Yeah, so quick, get your votes in. Why are you doing it again? You've got two lines on it. No. Pass that over to Natalie so you can fill that in for me. I get all the good jobs. Because you haven't put the little boxes in there, obviously. Okay, so I'll do it in purple just a So turn my piece of card over and do a different piece. So a Sharpie fine liner. Do we think? Because we've now gone to uh, two thirds of people saying the Sharpie Fine Liner. Sharpie Fine Liner, that was a good guess, wasn't it? So, Sharpie Fine Liner. So we have this very nice Sharpie Fine Liner pen, um, which we found. But it is exceedingly fine. So we'll try that one. And we'll pop it into, I would have thought, Carl's rather than anybody else's for that one. Give me a 
nice easy pull so we don't have to open Uh, which brush pen are you going to use? Brush pen. The Zebra oh, one, wasn't it? Oh, it was Zebra one. Okay, so I'll put Zebra. Or the Edding Calligraphy. Right, so what I just did with this one, I've taken it out of its casing just for a second. Just because. The casing that it's in is a bit thick because it's got the silver case on it. Yeah. Uh, so I'm just using the insert, which makes it just a little bit harder to do, but it's not too hard. So again, I'm just keeping a little bit of pressure on the end till it grips, and then I can tighten it up. That's in place. So as you can see, there, I've taken it out of its little holder. We do the same with the Kokoro refill as well, which is fantastic for doing really fine detail in right. your. Normal universal pen holder. So again, that fits into there. Select, draw. I might put the speed up a little bit on this one because it doesn't need to be quite so slow. I don't think. Let's put it up to three, which I really recommend. That was speed one on that one. Okay. And pressure minus one. Thank you. So it's only going to take three minutes this one, so you've got three minutes for your next poll. When you're ready. And Yep. <laughs> well, we so far have one vote for the zebra brush pen. Zebra brush? Yeah. That's this one, isn't it? That fits in the universal pen holder, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. so that, there'll be a different pen holder as well, which is good. And then I'll, for the next one, whilst you decide, pick between. Let's have something a little different. You're set, you get me set up the next poll ready, are you? <laughs> yeah. Do a friction one, one of the friction pens. So. And let's try the barrel metallic. Like it's going to be the zebra brush pen. We have two votes for the zebra brush pen. Okay. Barrel fits in the universal. Barrel? Barrel? Barrel fits in the universal pen. There's our barrel. <laughs> Sorry. Panto, you end up doing little references to it for the rest of your days. <laughs> several, several versions as well, which is not good. Yeah. So, any other questions at the moment? So, I'll use a different pen holder next time rather than keep using uh, Carl's. If you've got anything, yeah. feel terrible at you. You could always just do um, some text for the next bit if you want to. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Just looking at the time, thinking, ah, half an hour. Yeah, because it takes a bit of time this one. So I'll quickly go through the other pen holders quick as well and just do a bit of text with each of them. Mm -hmm. I'll cut this one out for you. Thank you. That one's done. Blade. Let's just take that out so it's not. You can see it's not missed any detail, just being small. Okay. Pull that one back out. Put it back together. 
It's only because of the thickness of the barrel on that one, it wouldn't uh, go into the hold. Check the settings because I don't know why it's doing. It might be because it thinks it needs to to get through the car. Is it because we're doing one mil each rather than because we turn that down? Might be. Because yeah, nothing else on there. Shall I put it up and see if it makes a difference? Yeah, so put your cut on that back to one. Still on two votes for the Zebra Bush one, so do you want to get that one loaded up? No, well, that's going to be nice. Let's get some text from the next bit. Mm -hmm. No, it's doing it again. What's wrong with this? He also thinks it needs it for the car, Dean. Kind of why. It's not that thick. It's quite thick. Yeah, but it's not that thick. I've done thicker. Another section taken out of that one. And there we go. So that was your Sharpie fine line as we did. Okay. Thank you. Let's see where can we go next. Not to waste any card. Google it over. So we'll swap just doing a bit of text now rather than doing drawing as well. Um, just for speed. Because we'll be here all day otherwise. Do you marble as well? No. 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 I was trying to find me worms to do my binding and I can't find them. No. So we'll go find them. We'll go. We'll just nick a, a simple. Should we go for the? What should we go for? An anniversary? Mhm. Mm I think I'm gonna have to take a day off to sort out my craft room. The anniversary or believe? Which one do we think? I'm just go for something you can do small. Something we can um, do small. Yeah. Go for that one. Size down. Put it one and a half inches high. one in the top corner and I'm going to draw it. This time I'm going to be used the Brother Universal pen holder so we can drop our pen in. I've got the best grip on that you know. It used to. Um, but if you not, you got it all the way around, yeah. Mm. In which case, put in the in cars one. They oh, do well, wear they eventually do wear. So the um, universal holders. That one. What was the other one they wanted that we said? I said about the bare metallic, didn't I? Yeah. So I'll do that one in a minute. That's going back to the same pen holder. I'll use a different pen holder for you for a minute, just so you get to see. More than one pen holder working because otherwise it just makes it repetitive. So I will come back. So this is a barrel metallic. That's gripped. You can feel when it actually grips better um, with the brother one um, because you can actually feel it tighten around the pen. So basically, you have to lift the grey ring and twist it round. Yes, it is a bit fiddly at first. People try to just twist it without lifting it. And I've had people trying to twist the bit, the white bit at the top. If you manage to twist the white bit at the top, you've actually broken it because the white bit is fixed. Yeah. So try not to turn the white bit at the top. Just try and lift the grey bit in between. 
because otherwise you might break it. We have had a couple of um, incidents with broken holders in class. Okay, we're going to do a small text. I can do the one I need to adjust the settings for. You probably could have done with lessening the pressure on that one. Sounds like it's a bit. Helps if your pen works. Oh dear, has my pen died? Indeed. Oh! My pen is out of it. Oh. Get it working quick. Uh, it may just be that it's dead because they're not the newest on the um, market. <laughs> Let me see if I can. I'll do some colouring over here if I can get it to work. I'll do. Uh, no, I did. Yeah, that is. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Doing well here. <laughs> Let's try one of that's metallic. That should fit in this one as well. So, this is a curry tacky. I just go back to bed. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be one of those. This is a Kurotaki writer. Let's find the bold end. There we go, let's use that one. That's a nice big bullet tip end. So it should give you a nice thick line. I'll leave it where it is and you can overwrite where that one should have done. So again, we're going into the universal with the pen holder. Again, Do you want to just show um, fill line width on that one? What are you thinking? Well, I'm not filling anything yet, so... No, just do like a, a small basic square with it. Okay. As well. Yeah, so you uh, can show the... Um... So, what Matt has just asked me to do is do you a little square as well. So we can show that the... So that's add that and basic shape. Square. Let's make it a small square because we don't want it too big. Okay. Any questions at the moment? No, no questions. Very quiet today. It is. So I'll square, we'll put that underneath. Leave it aside actually, please. Mm. So with that one, we're going to fill that. Same object edit. We're going to fill it on. Fill pattern. I'll have it fill it in nice full. Um, but we're going to turn up the lines, because it's got a nice thick bullet tip, we're going to put the line spacing up a little bit, um, and your direction is straight, so that's going to work in different. So we can see that it's made it nice and blue, so we're going to go OK, OK, OK again, select and draw, there we go, and it's still only going to take one minute because it's on speed 3. No idea why there's any fault in that. This one's cool. It's gripping fine, it's just having a... No, I'm looking for the alcohol plenty to show how to... Uh, ah, right, okay. Handle alcohol pens in it, but... There we go, so we can see it's not damaged. I've just made it a little flat, but it's okay. Nothing that can't be sorted. And now it's done a lovely... for a moment because we don't need that. And let's move family down. You can do 
feel about the next? I'm just going to do a quick draw with the actual little brother you yeah. pen on because we haven't done that one yet. So. And I'll go over the uh, fill pattern in a moment. Get down two squares, that's going to be below ten. Yep, that should fit. So we go OK. OK. Select. Draw. And start. We'll go back to that pen in a moment for you. Um, what Matt was just saying about going back to was the fill patterns. So in your settings, I oh, can't change it in there. That's useful. So we're going to edit, object edit, into fill. And then we have different options here. We have our fill patterns. Now you can have a full block, which is what we have here. And if it just draws lines, cubes, um, little triangles in each, and even smaller triangles, so little crosses in a box in each one. <coughs> Four and five tend to knock out your calibration, especially if you used a lot. Um, so if you're using, uh, you draw different fill patterns, um, we recommend trying to avoid four and five. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, because they do tend to knock out the calibration on your machine. So do be wary of those when you're using those. These ones are fine generally, one, two, and three, but four and five, especially four for some reason, don't know why, um, tends to knock out your calibration more than any of the others, so when you're doing your drawings. So if you are doing a lot of drawing using these calibrations, um, do check the calibration of your machine once so you go back in and check. You also have your fill line spacing, which you can change, and you have your direction. So if you want it on a slight slant, so if you had just your straight lines and you wanted it to do it on a different angle, you can change that so it does it on a different angle. Um, I'll quickly do the zebra with the brush pen. We'll move our family over. more questions? Not yet. No. Please let me know if I'm going too quick for anybody or not quick enough. Or You're doing the zebra brush pen yet? I'm just doing it now. Okay. Oh, is it something to do with the angles being drawn? I'm looking at the calibration for four and five. It does seem to be that it doesn't like going diagonally. Um, but Sometimes it, it can appear that way even when it's not knocking out the calibration because if you're doing something that is really complex like we did a frame that was filled with the triangles wasn't it mm. and it started off fine and by the end of it had gone wonky but that was partly because the pen had gone wonky as well so yeah, it so is worth checking pen, yeah we... so it's worth keeping an eye as you're drawing and yeah. stopping mid Let's put a fill pen. Draw if need be and just readjust and then put the pen back in the holder and carry on. So for those of you that haven't got a machine at home there's a play pause button that you can pause and then when you press play it goes across the side just to register where it is and it carries on as if you hadn't done that thing. Okay so I've put the um, check pattern on this one as the fill just so it shows you it's being filled in. I'm just going to do a quick background scan just to make sure that it's actually going to be on the mat because the last thing I want to do is draw on uh, Jackie's mat. If anybody has any questions, please ask now. Hold your opinion.
taking it off the ground. Okay, we're going to draw again. Yeah, friction plate and plays a, a, a part on quite a bit the, the pen drawing side of things. So. Which is why with certain pens we'll say reduce the pressure. There we go. Just makes that a little bit easier for the machine and for your pen. And no damage. Let me have a look on stream and have a start and see. No, no, I'm just about that sometime. Bit, bit, there we go. Oh, nearly up oh, there. Is there any pen that anybody would particularly like me to show? Um, that I haven't. I th um, do you want to quickly do a. Um, Something like a circle with a calligraphy pen. So you want to set your nib so it's at 45 degrees. Oh, what's a friction pen? Friction, friction pens are brilliant. So friction pens, uh, we have this one here, which is a friction pen. Um, which was one of the ones I had too? Yeah, a purple yeah. one as well. That's a friction as well. There we go. I've got a couple here. That's a replace, that's the same sort of thing. So you have these ones, and basically these are erasable. Um, so these are good for doing, if you want to draw a design, um, but you don't want it to still be there when you finish your design, you can then heat it, and it would erase. Yeah. They are heat erasable pens, um, and they're great. Uh, let's use one of them. That one fits in there. The brother wants to give the brother one another after. Um, what's the nib like? Yep, so we have varying ones on this one. So this is a 0 0.7, it's a roller ball. I go um, down to 0 0.5, don't I? Yeah, yeah, we have a needle point one, I believe. Somewhere. <laughs> I will find one. That one. No, that's a 0 0.7 as well, I think, yeah. Well, I pinched it. I might have it in the front room. Those are all 0 0.7. Um, but they are rollable ones. But they're, again, they're good for doing your fine details and text. But you can also use them for doing um, score lines on boxes. And then you just waft a heat gun over the top and the ink vanishes. So, again, I've just plugged in the, put it into the universal pen holder, the brother one. Um, just to give everything a fair outing, because obviously we don't want to uh, be biased to one or the other. We try not to be. We do. We'll take the fill off this one. Don't always succeed, but we try. No, we do not always succeed, but we do try. Uh, let's move it down so we're onto a different piece of paper. Um, um, in terms of um, the friction, yeah, it is, it is the ink being used that's actually in the pen. Um, but when you're setting up for pens, typically you're setting it up for the nib. Um, occasionally there are a few pens that wear that different, so like alcohol pens. You have to increase your fill line width because they do bleed, which is why I was desperately trying to find one so that we could show you that to you. But what I will do is I will do a separate feed on that when I do my yeah, alcohol we're, we're one. We're doing a separate reason feed on that just to. Yeah, just to get and talk about filling with a alcohol pen. You can do the calligraphy pen at the same time then. Or do you want me to do the calligraphy pen quick? If you can do the calligraphy pen quick. Okay. Um, Wendy asked, what glitter pens would we recommend? Scribblish. Scribblish, yes. Yes, um, I, one. I put one out. And my favourites at the moment are the Zebra Doodlers. Yeah, 
Yes, that's the one I meant, the doodle is that I've got here. I put one out to try, what colour did I pick? I picked up the black one because I like the black one. Yes. So, doodle is glitter. Now these are excellent with a bit of glitter. Um, and they're not very expensive. Yeah. So, if, you're, if your local B&M still has their stationery crafty aisle open, I know not all of them do, um, you can actually get them in a pack of 10? Yes. 10? Yeah. Ten pack, yes. Uh, it didn't fit in that one, did it? So it's going to have to go back to Carl's. I apologise for uh, using Carl's a lot, but it is so much more I was going to say, do, do versatile. Was definitely Carl's. Um, pen. I'll even do a fill on this so you can see it, colour it in. If you, able to see the if you want a glitter pen that fits in your Brother Universal, you'd be looking at the Jelly Rolls by Sakura. Um, or I do have some Edding ones that I use. That. Oh, which one do you want me to spell? The Zebra Doodlers. It's D O O D L E R Z. And you can get them in the glitter and the neon. We have the packet here actually, so I can show you the packet. Okay. Oh, so that's the packet of them. Which are a great set of pens. If you're watching on the iPad, you can take a screenshot. <laughs> so we're just going to move our across because I've filled most of this page now with family. So I've put a fill on this one. Um, so hopefully we'll see that how just how well it does fill. Two minutes, that's not bad. Oh, that was close. What are you trying to knock off? No, I, I tried to do it without putting the uh, clip on the pen holder. Oops. Yep, that was almost a disaster. That was almost a waste of two minutes. <laughs> the difference for it with Carl's um, pen holder is it was quite happy to take um, pens that are different shapes as well. So I did put for him to use, he hasn't tried them yet, is the standard Tri Plus pens. So they have like a triangular barrel and they're quite happy to go in Carl's holder but they won't go in the rubber one. Same if you have. Um, Hexagonal pens, they tend to work better in curls than they do in the proper one. Hmm? Okay. Now, I don't know if you can see that on camera or not. Hang on, let me flip back so I can see. Let me just put the lid back on this pen. I was going to say, take it off and... I don't want to take it off because I've scanned it. Let me do this one quick with the clip free pen and then I will show sparkly. I will show the sparkly in that black because it is super sparkly. Do you want to just set this up so it's right? Because I don't want to at it. Okay. Then I can show once you've got it in the right place. Okay. Because you're not feeling um, confident we're getting your angles. Given right. the day that I'm having, <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, do I take the fill off this one? Might not be a good idea to look at the poster. Take the fill off because yeah. I just want it to do a single line for this one. Okay. So hopefully. Move it across into this bottom corner. I know I haven't drawn anything there yet. Carl, if you're watching, can I have a white one, please? <laughs> so I can see my nib. <laughs> just trying to check it's at the right angle. Okay. Yeah, go for it. Do I 
any slow down or pressure or anything for this? Um, pressure to ease off a little. So minus one, minus two. Okay, so you don't want to flatten the end of your calligraphy pen. We'll put our pressure, we'll put it down to minus three. What well, about speed? It'll be all right at three or a bit slower? Um, it should be all right at three. Okay. So we've dropped the pressure right down on this down to minus three. I say right down, the pressure will go down to minus nine, so, you know, me saying it's down on minus three is not at all. So I'm going to start. So this is a nice click free tip pen. Probably should have changed what it was writing. See, it has actually drawn that quite nicely. What I'll do very quickly is change the word just so we have something that's a bit more calligraphy, shall we say? Let's look on that. You just want, tell you what, you just one of the single line um, designs that you've got on the DX. Where are they? Um. If you use the fill function in scale, will that affect the calibration? Hmm. 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 It's not so much the. It's not so much the filling that knocks the calibration. It's the pattern that's used for the filling that knocks the calibration. So, um, yeah. Hope that makes a bit more sense. Bye Karen. Hopefully you with the time lag easier, so bye. But bye. <laughs> right, five minutes. Okay. I'll do this last one and then we'll Yeah. I'll quickly show you the glitter on this pen. I'll take this off. Now it's racing against time now. Come on. <laughs> Sorry. It's racing against time now. Ding ding ding. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Did you use a single line design, yeah? Uh, no, but I couldn't find one, so... It's, it's got a whole category of its own, seriously. Is it? Oh. So, huh? Uh, lid, up there. So that's the... I'm done. So, very quickly. I think... And if you can see on the black, this one down here, you can see the sparkle in that. Uh, let me just not quite pick it up here. Closer. That's yeah. Go. That's it. No. No. Waggle it. <laughs> you can yeah. Keep waggling it towards the light. Yeah. Yeah. That's the zebra one. But they are very cool. The effect actually on the paper is brilliant. So that's all our different ones. If you do have any further questions or anything else, do pop them in the uh, comments and we'll try and answer them the best we can in the comments. Um, Natalie is back at two. Hopefully. Hopefully with... Tag mini album. Oh uh, yes, the tag mini album. So continue from scratch, yesterday. From Affinity. Yeah, so going back to Affinity and doing some more in there. Um, so do please join us for that one if you can. And uh, stay safe. Peak should be starting shortly in about five or six minutes. I will so, share it in the group as like you yeah, do. Yeah, it'll be shared in the group and like I said, any questions or anything you'd like us to do, um, please let us know because we've always got next week to uh, plan ahead. So if there's anything we haven't covered or you'd like to see covered, then please let us know. Okay, apart from that, stay safe, have a great rest of your day and we'll see you at two o'clock.